Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is gonna be an all day clean with me and I just wanna start by saying thank you to Odor Cleanse for sponsoring this video. Stay tuned to the end because I have some exciting new products that I have been using and I really enjoy and I have a 20% off coupon for you guys if you wanna try them. So stay tuned for the end to see how I use them and to hear more. I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be so welcome back to Watch Me Clean Wednesday. This is gonna be a little bit different than my normal Watch Me Clean Wednesdays where I just start right off in cleaning and I do a voiceover. I was just laying in bed this morning thinking about what I was gonna do for Watch Me Clean Wednesday this week and it came to me that it would be really fun to bring you guys along with me throughout the entire day and show you what I clean throughout the entire day because truth be told, when I do cleaning videos, that's not the only thing I clean that day. So if I do a bathroom cleaning routine, I've cleaned way more than just the bathroom. I've just filmed the bathroom. So today I'm gonna film a little bit of everything I clean, just some small clips of everything and let you guys see what I clean throughout the whole day. It is a Monday, so Mondays I usually clean a lot more than any other day in the week. I just like to catch up from the weekend and then just have everything kind of set for the week ahead. I don't do any deep cleaning on Mondays, usually sometimes I do, um, but I basically just try to straighten everything up as a whole. So I'm going to start this morning with my morning cleaning routine and then I'm just going to kind of pick up the camera, turn it on and show you what I do up until it's time for bed. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I just thought it would be fun for a little change and yeah, I'm not going to keep rambling. Let's just get into this cleaning video. So on this day, I am washing the bed sheets, so I'm just taking all the bedding off and gonna go throw those into the wash. If you watched a recent Watch Me Clean Wednesday, you know that I went ahead and took all of the bedding off and washed it all, so that's why I'm not washing the duvet cover or the blanket. I don't wash them every time. So I'm just washing the sheets this time, and I'm using my Gain Original, which is my favorite, and then I'm using the Gain Beads, which are amazing, also in the original scent, and then the Blue Suavitel also amazing that is my trio I use it all the time I never stray I love it it's great if you haven't tried it try it and thank me later so I'm just gonna get those sheets going and then I'm gonna get on to the rest of the house If you are wondering where my robe is from, it is from Pink Blush Maternity. I bought it with my own money and I used a coupon so I got a really good deal. They have all kinds of pretty colors and patterns to choose from, but it's probably my favorite robe I've ever owned. The only thing I wish was that it had pockets because I do like to stick my hands in my pockets when I'm cold, but other than that, I just think it's so pretty and it's so soft and comfortable, so I do wear it around the house a lot, so this is a typical cleaning routine for me I would normally be wearing my robe and then I am going to go into our bathroom and just wipe down the mirrors and the countertop and the toilet I do this a few times a week just to kind of in between clean and keep up with everything and then I'll do my deep clean once a week and I tried the Miss Myers on the mirrors and it worked really well to my surprise. I did not know you could use it on mirrors. It worked good for me so that made me excited. It's the little things, right? So I'm just cleaning up from where I got ready this morning and cleaning off the toothpaste and the hair and everything that accumulates so fast on the bathroom counters and then I'm going to scrub the toilet and I'm just going to wipe it down with some Clorox wipes. That's what I will typically do just as a quick clean in between my deep cleaning and it just makes it easy so I leave them right there above the toilet and I wipe them down and then I use my beloved toilet wand. So that's what I'm doing here. Way hard. 
So I know some of you will ask me what the song is because the last time I used it, I had so many questions asking and I did not know, but this time I made sure to write it down. So it will be in the description box if you're interested in this song. It is a beautiful song. So that's why I chose to use it again for you guys because I know you liked it. So now I'm just taking the Mrs. Meyers Peppermint. That's the same thing I used in the bathroom. And I took a damp cloth and just sprayed the damp cloth down with it just so that it would smell good pretty much. And I'm just kind of wet dusting all of the furniture. Our furniture in the bedroom gets so dusty so fast. You will see in a minute on my other dresser by the window. It's like an inch thick with dust. Yeah, there you go. That's disgusting. And that happens in a day. I hate it. I don't know. Maybe it's just the dark furniture, but yeah, I'm just going to dust down the furniture really quickly and then I'm going to vacuum and then I'll be done in there until it's time to put the sheets on. So now I'm moving on to the living room and as you can see I have my Christmas blanket out. I kind of have a mix of fall and Christmas right now. It's like bipolar in my house but it's just because I'm kind of transitioning. I had just picked that up and washed it so I just folded it over to the cream side for now so that it doesn't clash too bad but you'll see in a second I do have a little tree up as well. I just was so excited and I couldn't wait so I have like leaves and things and then I have snowflakes. It's ridiculous but soon it will all be just Christmas. Christmas, but I just wanted to explain that in case somebody was like, what is wrong with this girl? Does she not realize you're not supposed to do that? <laughs> but yeah, I'm just picking up some toys and some dishes that were left in there and then wiping down the tables. I do this pretty much every day just because they get really dirty with my kids and then my husband is always having snacks in there and they just get really dirty really fast. And then of course all the blankets and pillows get mixed messed up from the night before from us just snuggling on the couch so I'm straightening those up and that blanket was damp and it was just laying there to air dry and it was dry now so I'm just folding it up and I'm actually donating it it was some of the blankets that I had gotten out of Kinsley's closet when I cleaned it you guys haven't seen that video yet but it is coming and I am donating them to somebody in need so I had just washed it up and there the living room is all clean i did not have time to do the floors on this day so they will have to wait until another day but i just kind of straightened everything up for the most part and then my sweet little baby was showing me her troll and she has marker on her face because she was coloring so now I have her helping me do some of the chores, which I always have. Both girls help me and I'm starting more and more with Kinsley each day because she is getting older. She will be three on December 4th. And as you see, I have her bring me dishes or take things and throw them in the trash. Or she loves to take my cleaning rags and put them in the laundry room for me. She knows right where the rags go. So I just have her do little things like that that she can do. And it makes her really proud of herself and it teaches her to be a team player so that's just kind of how I start out and then now Maddie is 10 and she has lots of different chores that she does completely on her own and she's a huge huge help to me and you'll see her a little later in the video but she was at school at this point
So now I'm just taking some Barkeeper's Friend. A lot of you had said that it was awesome. Um, I've used the Soft Scrub and I've used the Mrs. Meyers Baking Soda Cleanser and I have to say that the Barkeeper's Friend is not my favorite. It does a really good job. I just don't like the smell of it. For some reason the smell just smells like copper to me and it just, I don't like the smell. So I'm going to use up what I have. Like I said, it does a really good job of cleaning. You'll see how shiny my sink is in a minute, but I just don't like the smell of it and I don't think it's something I can get past. So I'm just using it up, but I think I will stick to my soft scrub or my Mrs. Myers in the future. See how shiny it is though? But I don't think it's necessarily any more shiny than the other two products I mentioned do. So I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> So I'm just wiping down the table with a damp cloth and then I'm going to go in with the Method Wood for Good polish and just polish it up and then I'm done in there. I have my Christmas tree box there because I just bought a new Christmas tree and then I have items that I'm either selling or donating so that's what all that junk is there and then I just sprayed the trash can with some Lysol and it's all clean and there's my pretty little Christmas tree So the sheets were all done and so I am putting them on the bed and as you can see it's later in the day and I have changed. Kinsley is still in her pajamas because why put clothes on when you're just hanging out? <laughs> That's the way I see it. So she is helping me make the bed. She loves to help me put the pillows up and it does actually really help me. So that's what we're doing. Teamwork, getting it done and then the bedroom is all clean. Look out, here she comes Okay, so now that I have the house all clean, it's destroyed again because that's real life. <laughs> As you saw earlier, my kitchen was nice, shiny, and clean, and my husband came home from work, and Maddie came home from school, and it's a disaster again. So I'm just cleaning some things out of the fridge here, some old things, getting rid of some leftovers, putting them down the garbage disposal, and this is where my new favorite product comes in. So as you know, I have worked with Odor Cleanse before, and they make this awesome sink and disposer cleaner, and it, it disposal cleaner. I can't talk and it is natural or at least it has natural elements to it so it's not got a lot of harsh chemicals so you just pour it down in your disposal and you're gonna let that sit for a little while and then you run hot water and you turn it on and let that go and it just helps to deodorize it so I like to do that at night before I go to bed and then also after I've done something like like I just did just getting rid of leftovers and stuff and then the other stuff you saw the odor absorbing granules I did not use them in the video because I have haven't had a reason to use them but what those are when you go to the grocery store or something and I don't know if you've ever seen this but if a child like vomits or there's a spill they come in with this stuff that they pour on it and it absorbs it up and then they just sweep it up especially vomit that's really gross that's what this stuff is but just for you and your home to have so if your dog messes on the floor or your child vomits then you just pour this stuff on it and it absorbs it up and not only absorbs the moisture but it absorbs the odor as well so it's a great thing to have around your house especially if you have kids and or dogs so definitely check those out they're in the description box and i have a 20 percent coupon off for you guys the blue of those sides. 